As a kid, growing up in the 90s, I went through various phases as far as TV shows were concerned. I would spend about a year or so ridiculously into a certain cartoon or television show and would eventually just grow out of it or lose interest. However, there are a few that stuck with me all the way through into adulthood. Today I want to talk about one of those. Today I want to talk about the Power Rangers. That's right. Everyone's favorite, over-the-top, exaggerated acting martial arts drama had a tremendous impact on me as a child. I remember every day, no matter what I was doing, whether it was homework or playing outside. When 5 o'clock hit, it was Power Rangers time. I had a few Power Rangers toys and would play with them, but they lacked the feel I got from watching the episodes. Once I found out they were making Power Ranger video games, I just knew I finally found the perfect way to live out the action of the episodes. I mean, it's a video game about Power Rangers. It had to be good. Right? My first experience with the Power Ranger game was for the Game Boy. A friend of mine at school had it and let me try it out. My first impression was, okay, it's a Street of Rage style beat em up, which is a good thing. There are a few things wrong with the hit detection. And who the hell keeps throwing bombs out the windows? It wasn't great. But knowing they made one for the SNES, I had high hopes that that would be the Power Ranger experience I had been longing for. I finally got around to the SNES version, and yeah, that's more like it. It even has the theme music at the menu. It held true to the show more or less, and they seemed to get everything right. From Zack's dancing to Billy's cowardice. I especially enjoyed how you gotta play one level as them in normal human attire. It really made you appreciate being morphed. It wasn't by any means perfect. I mean, similar to the Game Boy, it was still a side-scroller. But it temporarily quenched my Ranger appetite. The Genesis version was completely different. It was a fighting game. A horrible fighting game at that. I mean, just look at it. Why would anyone want to play this game when they got Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter as alternatives? I maybe played this game twice and try to forget it even existed. I'm not gonna lie, up until this point, I was pretty disappointed with the Power Ranger games that were available, but that disappointment turned to optimism once the movie came out. The Power Rangers movie was awesome. It was everything I liked about the show, but on an even more epic scale. When I found out they were making games based on the film, I knew the Power Ranger game I had been waiting for would finally be mine. So a trip to the blockbuster and a quick rental later, I got my hands on Power Rangers the movie for the SNES. I mean, why bother with the Sega version, right? The last Sega Power Rangers game was terrible. So I popped this game into my SNES, and what the hell was this? None of this happened in the movie. They never fought Mirror Maniac. They were never on an aircraft carrier. Did the makers of this game even watch the movie? I was so disappointed by this. At this point in time, I had pretty much given up on Power Ranger video games. A few months later, when all the hype from the movie had already died down and I needed a new game to play, I decided to rent Power Rangers the movie for the Genesis. I mean, I had nothing else to play, and at least I'd get a chuckle out of it. I took it home and popped it in, and right at the opening menu, I thought to myself, hmm, this actually seems pretty cool. Then I started to play the actual game, and oh my goodness. The gameplay. They're actually fighting Oozmen. It had cutscenes that hold true to the film. And that music. It's the music from the show. The music that just makes me wanna. Game Head! In short, Power Rangers the movie for the Sega Genesis was the Power Ranger game that I had been waiting for. Believe it or not, the Power Rangers taught myself, as well as many others, some core values that carried over into adulthood. Values such as camaraderie, selflessness, and believe in yourself 
and you can accomplish anything. As over the top as it was, Power Rangers impacted my life in a positive way, and is one of the reasons why I decided to become a martial artist myself. Till next time, this is Ness, signing out.